salutations to you all. Got Subaru right here. Me and my dad actually finished the car on Tuesday or Wednesday-ish. I'm able to drive it, and I could, as far as I know, I like the way the car drives. I love it now. So before we go ahead and get going, might as well tell you my mod list. Engine baby, got an EJ255, Cobb intake, STI timeout and a cooler, NVIDIA downpipe, rim speed up pipe. It got the stock TDO4 turbo. Used to have a TDO5, but the water got water in it, so I had to switch that out. It has a killer bee uh, oil pickup line, and then it has a HKS cab back on it. It's Cobb tune, and I'm not sure how much power it's running, so I might put on a dyno this summer, but. For suspension mods, we have Rev9 coilovers on it, Usco 22 millimeter front and rear sway bars on it, Carboy sway bar end links. For brakes, we have stop tech pads. I'm not sure about the brand of Rotas it has, but it's slotted and drilled. For the wheel setup, we have Rotas. Don't remember the actual brand or model of it. Brain mods, we have a JDM 444 final drive with a sure track or a diff on it. Uh, this one's kind of different from the other JD transmissions because this is from a 04 which has similar gear set up to the version 5 STI 5 speed. So uh, we're here today on a rainy day because it seems like Mother Nature had one too many coffees. So let's go ahead and take it for a drive. I'm gonna take it for a spin on the highway too to see uh, what RPM this thing is gonna be running with the 444 gears. <sighs> I hope the camera angle is good because if it's not, we'll be sad and I'm, I'm not going to be in the mood to do it all over again. I feel like I created a monster with this car, to be honest. Did a pull yesterday and it scared me so bad because acceleration in second gear is it's insane. I'm not going to be punching it too much because I still have to break in the clutch. I only got almost 40 miles on it, so I'm going to take it easy. Plus, it's raining out here, so I thought I was going to try to lose control of my car right after getting a nice transmission in it that I favor so much now. This makes me wonder how many people has actually done this job to their cars in the U.S. I know people don't really like doing the JDM transmissions because, oh, you're not upgrading to anything else because it's just glass. Plus, people don't like the 444 because it's too short, but I can say I like it. if anybody can notice but if you watch previous pov drives of my, uh, videos of mine first gear is really short way shorter than this but this one is actually a little bit longer than the usdm transmissions i think it's a 3.166 if i remember correctly and the usdm is 3.454 so that means the usdm first gear is shorter than the jdm one but with the JDM one, it's gonna be closer first through third, if you know what I mean. Because with the USDM transmission, you have a really short first, and then you have a long second and third end. That's where the strain comes on for these transmissions. So that's why I wanted to get a 444 because it actually reduces the strain on the drivetrain. And I was gonna get a six speed, but honestly, I prefer the five speed over the six speed for driver usability straights and it's more practical than a six speed even though this one kind of acts like a six speed so as you can see I went to second gear and it doesn't have that huge drop that a normal WX would have and that's why I like this gearbox more. So I'm gonna shift that 3000. See, it's pretty short. And 
over to clutch i'm running a stage 1x organic clutch that sprung and it's a x clutch that's the brand of it by the way for the flywheel it's it's the same flywheel i had from last year because the xd oem replacement that i got it doesn't fit on the pressure plate for some reason it was too big so i had to keep my lightweight flywheel and honestly it feels better with with this setup because with the other light or clutch i had it will rattle a ton whenever i get off the clutch and i have to be very careful if i have too much throttle it doesn't like it if i have too little it's going to be close to stalling so i had to try to not to stall myself embarrass myself but with the lightweight flywheel on here it feels so much better First time take her out on the highway. I do a little tiny pull. Jesus Christ, man. That was just half throttle too. At 70, we're running at 3,000 RPMs, a little over. Hmm. With the other one, I think I would run almost to 3K, but I'm fine with this because I don't really drive this thing on the highway too much. So it's pretty respectable. like somebody was leaking oil right here that's nice and on the 370 final drive gearbox that I used to have 40 if I was in uh, at least below 40 by like one miles per hour the car would start to rattle and it doesn't like that at all but now I could do 35 and, four, and fourth I honestly like this car or this uh, transmission for drivability purposes only way more better than a 370 it's just this gearbox awakens the WRX even more just don't understand why US never released this or Japan never released this gearbox for the USDM models. The only car that actually got a 444 final drive, I believe, is the Forester XT, though, which is why they'd be giving people Gapple Vs a bunch. But if you're looking for a five speed, I would probably recommend this gearbox because honestly, the 444 gears for a WRX, it's where it's at. you could probably just do it yourself because it's not even that hard okay that guy got blue smoke out of his exhaust the rings are about to go buddy
just a tiny one. If these guys can move just a little bit for me. Moment a sec. Make sure no police right here, because they like pull up right here. Okay. Holy! Oh God! That's only half throttle. This car is capable of more. It's a good thing I was able to put these transmission blast plates on this transmission because if I wasn't able to, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't think it would be able to handle all this. But it probably would. I mean, with around 80,000 miles on it, it should it should have some durability left. Plus, I used some uh, Valvoline 79 or 7590. Not the the normal Subaru stuff, but looks like this guy with his Subaru is still here. One more tiny pull, because I'm almost home. I don't want anybody to figure out my address, because that won't be so good at all. And then with every shift, you get a little snap, pop, and crackle now. I remember with the other one, I did not get none of that at all. enjoyed this little video he'll be driving off the new and improved WRX. I'll be going to the next autocross event that's coming up in two weeks or so on the 29th so hopefully I have the car completely ready and broken in by then. So if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to come back for more like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.